Uh, no, no, I'm asking the questions. I'm asking the questions. What do you use in your hair? Actually, they were giving away Pantene Pro-V samples on the street yesterday. Did you pick one up? I saw that and I kind of pondered out loud if I was a Pantene person, if I needed that. Mm -hmm. And I decided that the uh, shampoo that I get, which is the cheapest you can possibly get oh. uh, at no frills, mm -hmm. is the one that I, w I was going to go with. No. It's actually not that cheap. I, uh, I don't remember the brand of my shampoo, I just know mm -hmm. it's like it comes in a green bottle. Oh, yikes. This uh, convention's pretty much the best. It's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's really cool to hear from people who like uh, the Electric Playground and reviews on the run and talk to them, even if they don't like me. This guy over here doesn't like me in the white shirt. They're being pussies because they're on camera. Oh. They, w they would never say to my face that they don't like me, but I know. It's what is wrong with Megashon? What is, I stink, you, They're man. jealous of your hair. That's what it is. I kind of look Spanish or right. Italian. But, you I'm know really what? Mario and Luigi have mustaches. So up saying. yours, woman who said I should lose the mustache. Yeah, uh, it's not, not going anywhere. Mario, Luigi, Prince, Freddie Mercury, Jimi Hendrix, Phil Linnett from Thin Lizzy had a mustache. Lando Calrissian had a mustache. Mr. T, this shit's here to stay. Like I was saying, but you interrupted me. Um, I am going to put this on my blog as well. Oh, that's awesome. I know. Cool. So I'm going to do that. And then are you, you going to send me a link? Yeah, because I'm going to tweet you. Can we be you. friends on Facebook? Well, yeah, we, are I guess. On, are you on the Faces book? Well, I am, but I don't add everyone to Facebook. Why, it's not like Twitter. Why wouldn't you add me to well, Facebook? I mean, okay, Are I... Are you scared that I'm going to be creepy? Well, again, you have a mustache, so you could be. Sean. What's your name? Marissa. Marissa, that's right. I have the memory of a goldfish. That's okay, me too. What's your name? If you were trapped on a desert island, and you could only take one handheld with you, what would it be? It would probably be... Um, the original Game Boy uh, with a copy of LSDJ so I could make music on it and entertain myself. And I would not take any of the newer handhelds because I would want it to last more than one day. <laughs> Apart from being on the electric playground, I make music too. So do you DJ as well? I do DJ. Yeah, I DJed last night actually. Uh, I played a uh, gaming with the girls party here for Fan Expo. And I played in my uh, electro um, band. It's me as DJ Finish Him with Mr. Furious, and we're called Killa Tape. And that was our actual first ever show, and uh, and we killed. And I destroyed a PlayStation when we were done. I think I scared some people. I'm talking a PS1, not a PS3. I, I wouldn't no, never, okay, I was never smash, <laughs> never yeah. never smash a PS3. No, don't don't, do don't do that. I'm enjoying this, thank you. I'm also enjoying this. Are you from Toronto, by the way? I am from Toronto, why? Yeah. Would you like a co-host? Uh, yeah, sure, let's see, let's... <laughs> I'm not a... He wants to do it by himself, obviously. I, I'm the new host of Marissa's Tumblr blog. No. Do you want me on your show uh, more than uh, just, just now? Like, if you ever see me on the street or anything, because, like, this is our digs. Uh, uh, I I don't I don't really, I, I guess if I saw I, you know you. what you're finding out is that I really don't have anything to say like LSDJ on a desert island is the only thing you've gotten out of me right. that's, oh, yeah, that's true useful okay, okay. all Let's all the rest about, of this this is just it's just fluff but I like it yeah it's just fluff it's, it's so this is what I like it's tasty fluff but fluff nonetheless okay so tell me then how do you prepare for each interview and how do you scout out whatever location you're going to go to in Toronto do they commission you at EP or you go by yourself um, I work with a producer here in Toronto, and we both know the city really well, having uh, been to basically everywhere in it. But one thing that is really tricky when you're filming outdoors er, uh, is actually, let's do that again. I'm getting the two minute wrap up, which is kind of weird, because I get that when I'm interviewing a celebrity, and I, I don't even know why you want to talk to me, really. I'm so super humbled. It was just the hair, really. I didn't really you're actually so, want to talk to so you. You're so awesome. You're so yeah. rad. I know. You were telling me how you prepare. For each yeah, so it's weird because you live in a city like Toronto and obviously you become really used to it, like the noises and all that, but as soon as you go out with a camera, you realize just how loud the city is. So a lot of times we'll think uh, we're going to go film somewhere 
and we go get there and it's like really loud or we get there and it's kind of quiet and then like a dump truck pulls up and just idles for 15 minutes so we usually try to film uh, somewhere near the lake shore because it's really nice uh, nice scenery it's nice to have that kind of stuff on camera well you covered a lot of stuff already in Toronto how much more does the city have to offer in in the world of gaming and comics. That's it, nothing. We're done. I'm just going to make shit up now from the... No, I'm joking. There's so much talent in Toronto. We've got a, gr a great indie development scene for video games. Awesome musicians, both indie and super pro, super famous, and Sloan. Hey, Chris. How's it going, buddy? Marissa, I, I know your name, obviously. Oh. I didn't forget. Who could, I didn't know that. Who, who could forget a face like this? Look at that. Thanks for chatting with me.